garage. So we got no heat call. Um, they have a Nest thermostat was saying it wasn't meeting the set point. They said there's some bleaking going on in there. One, two, three, yeah. All right, so we got three flashes going on on this uh, temp star. So let's open her up and see what's going on. And I got some helpers today. Where's the other one? Oh, there you are. What's up, Katie? So anyway, uh, let's open this up. So here we go. Okay, so it looks like, I think that says something about a pressure switch. So yeah, the whoever installed this thought it'd be a good idea to put their sticker over the uh, LED code. So that's nice. Thank you, guys. So, um, so okay, so we got a pressure switch problem. So where's our pressure switch? Oh, look at this. So here's our pressure switch. Check that out. Oh, oh, our inducer is completely stuck. I was going to say maybe it rubbed through the hose, but no, the hose seems to be fine. Yeah, this thing is, yeah, this, yeah, so the inducer is pretty much done. Denzo, so we got to see if we can find one. I'll see if I can get it to run at least, but I might have to like spin it to get it going. So, so what's happening is, is this is probably not spinning. It's not creating a vacuum, so it's not closing the pressure switch. So the system locks out. So, and then this is kind of bugging me because it's like rubbing. So that could potentially be a, a you know, rub the hole through there. So we'll kind of re readjust that so it's out of the way. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna have to change this inducer. So it's totally gonna be fun because this is totally in the way. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're gonna jump R to W. Let's see if we can get this guy to go. Oh. That sounds terrible. Oh man. Pressure switch is just opened again. So yeah. It's it's definitely done. So I mean that's that's terrible. So yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's already like red hot. And it's only been running for a little bit. Let's get a temperature reading on this bad boy here. Oh yeah. 120 degrees and I only ran it for like I don't know, less than a minute. So we got to see if we can find a new inducer. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and clean the flame sensor, check the run caps, and just make sure there's no other problems. Okay, got the flame sensor clean. Um, and I've basically just been doing this to try to get it unlocked, and it looks like I might have fixed it. I don't know if it's going to last. I'm still going to recommend that they change the motor, but I think I may have gotten, it, gotten whatever gunk was in the... Uh, bearings out because it's feeling a lot smoother now and you can see it's spinning better so this might at least get them some temporary heat but sometimes you can just kind of mess with these things but i think i might have let's see if it'll light up so we're gonna call i mean it's definitely not as noisy okay so it's been running for a while that's my temperature and I'm at 1.5 amps, and that's the max. Although it just started making a new noise, so I don't know if it's gonna keep going. So I'm gonna let it run for a while and see what happens. So yeah, this is how much stuff I can do with one hand. I would say that's pretty impressive. Okay, so we got our new inducer. We have our igniter installed and a new run cap. We're gonna go ahead and cycle it for the first time, so hopefully everything works. I'm using a hot rod um igniter on here i don't know it's a little bit shorter than the original one so we'll see if that works we might have to uh get creative with it and make it work so okay so we're calling for heat first time we should be getting our igniter which we are so hopefully this lights gas is on yep all right cool I'm not sure if the igniter is lined up properly so it might not ignite Igniter's not lined up right, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, so that's what I came up with. I created a riser, uh, which makes it just a hair taller than the original, but that should be enough to get it to ignite. Okay, so now we got it assembled. Let's try this again. So hopefully, this igniter will actually light it now. that the whole 
whole cycle completes and then we'll go change the filter and call her a day. So hopefully this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.